colleagues is Tusana and PM Sebata. I'm just doing a quick video on this company Brick, Brica International, the restaurant. It's in the restaurant business. Most for most of this part of the video, I'll just call it it. That's this ticker symbol. How did I get to this company? This is the tweet which I saw from Seeking Alpha, and I went and started reading up on what this guy had, had to say, and it led me to a rabbit ro ro hole. I kept digging, but it was from sheer curiosity. I'm not one to really look at companies with a market cap of less than two, less than 10 billion. So, but I got interested and just kept reading what this guy had to say about it, and I found it a little bit strange why people would do such a thing. So I compiled a, a, a short, some, some information here to do my analysis, got the, the 10 Ks, got some uh, reading on the other research analysts, what they had to say about this company. Not much. These ones are saying hold, but the breakdown is really negative. The company has been doing badly revenue-wise. There hasn't been any revenue growth, the annual revenue growth for the past three years. It's been going the wrong way. Earnings, wrong way. Income has been getting worse. Yeah. Return on equity is not applicable. I'll do a calculation and see, show you why it's not applicable because it's way negative. And such a company has a PE way above, almost double, the S&P 500. This company has got everything going wrong for it. I think it's, it's been going up due to the industry sector, but even the industry sector is in a bad industry. A restaurant during these times of COVID, when the restaurants are not even operational at more than 50% of their normal capacity, to find this company back at the levels before COVID, it's a little bit strange, but yeah, that's what it is. And these other analysts also didn't have much to, great news to say about it. And for all these analysts, what I've done is all my source information which I've used in this folder, I've uh, created a, a Google Drive share. I've shared them on my drive on Google Drive and I'll share the link on this video so one can go and see all those details of what I'm talking about. It's the 10 Ks, the, these two research analysts which I've shown you and this is the, okay, this is just the FinVis. And I also have, wait a minute. I also have the report from the Seeking Alpha analyst, Josh Arnold. Eight pages of that read. And yeah, and I also have my own analysis, my Excel analysis on that. When I did my evalu full evaluation on this company, I'll come to that, but let me just deal with this part. From Finvis, the PE is about 60, almost double what the S&P is at. And the company is in serious debt. They're not making that much money at all. Revenue hasn't been great. For the past five years, the growth is 0.5%, not even 1%. Quarter on quarter is down 32%. Earnings per share down about 200%. This company has all got all the bad news. Yet the stock has risen sharply lately. Look, before COVID, it was oscillating between the 40 and 50 range. We are back in that range. But the restaurants are not operating nicely. So there is something fundamentally wrong with this stock. And I did my evaluation. This is what I came up with. Current price is about 44. After giving them generous conditions, I still came up with the 
best case scenario of 21 per share, which is uh, about a 50% drop. That's what I would expect to happen. I've also attached this uh, analysis on my share drive. What I just want to quickly come to is I couldn't calculate the the optimum capital structure because of this implied growth being negative. So, but looking at it, if they are carrying about 65% debt to equity ratio, it's way too much. Our equity is negative. That's why this is a mess. And looking at the accounting returns, return on invested capital, I'm coming with 15%. And these guys in FinVs have got it at about 11%. Well, and they've got return on equity at about negative 4%. I've got it at worse than that. I've got it at almost 3,000 negative. This company is all bad news for me. But yeah, that's what it is. And after doing my evaluation, seeing that I expect a drop of about 50% to come back to these regions here, I went and looked at technicals. There we are. It's back there. But already we have this divergence. Price is flat. RSI is saying divergence. And RSI has broken its upward trend. I expect this to come down to these levels of where real value is. Or it can even get worse than this. That's my take on it. And yeah, I expect it to come tumbling down. If I was playing in this range of the 2 billion stock, I would definitely short this, but that's not my type of stock, and I'm not going to take any position, but I expect it to drop about 50% or more. It's 2 9 p.m. Sabata. I thank you guys. I'm off.